breaking open the head was based on a question, which became a quest, which is what is the value of the psychedelic experience, and if it has value, why was it so deeply suppressed in modern Western culture? Uh, and when I discovered what I felt uh, experientially to be my own subjective kind of proof in the value of those experiences and in access of other types of knowledge, including you know, prophetic and, and, and so on, um, I then realized that um, you know, there was legitimacy to the shamanic knowledge system, and I would then needed to take seriously what these cultures have to say about the world we're in now. And so that led me to thinking about the Hopi and the Maya, and then also kind of trying to, out of almost necessity, kind of adapt the um, shamanic perspective. So, you know, I followed my own synchronicities in, in writing the book. My, as my investigation would open up stuff, as it opened it up, I would, I would write about those openings and, and where they led me. You know, it, was, it was almost like keys were being uh, presented to me as, as I went along in, in the journey. Um, 